touches me somewhere where it makes me want to tell that story. All the stories of I Am are uh, based on real life stories. Stories that surround all of us, happening to a lot of us. Um, it is something that all of us know and are aware of. It's just that we don't want to talk about it. I wanted to make this film originally as four separate feature films and realized that it's very difficult to get traditional funding from studios or other corporate sources, anything for these subjects that I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, film. And uh, at the same time, the desire to make this film was stronger than the opposition forces. And I thought that when I made my first film that was also funded by friends and family, why not make that family bigger? We said, we make the film for our audience and let's invite the audience to help us make the film and let, let, let's get them involved. He had hit upon this idea of uh, raising money for his film over the net. Let's just try as an experiment to put up a post on the Facebook and uh, Twitter or other social networking sites that uh, this is the film that we want to make and if you want to be a part of it you can uh, put in hundred dollars or more or contribute as a volunteer, work for the film as an assistant director, anything you know and become a co-owner. I didn't hesitate somehow, I just know Onir, I know he's so genuine and uh, if he means to make a film, he will make the film, not pocket the money and disappear on me. And that's where we began. Within 45 days, we were shooting um, our, the first story. We were really pleasantly surprised, shocked. <laughs> but um, and now the film is complete. And uh, I feel extremely uh, humbled that, you know, uh, in a way, I feel that the audience has made the film. I can call this a bona fide independent, um, you know, project. Uh, Probably one of the first and the biggest crowdsourced film in the country. So we've got 400 co-producers from across uh, 45 cities across the world. Tongues on Fire, London Asian Film Festival, now uh, that's a great platform. I'm told the response was very encouraging. Uh, and I'm very happy to hear it. These kind of festivals become very important platform for non-mainstream films. I think it's important to have film festivals because you get to see films that you wouldn't normally get to see. The Razzmatazz of Bollywood is great, but then there are also all these other films that I know a lot of people would enjoy seeing. This year's Closing Gala event features an award ceremony rewarding excellence in the art of filmmaking, not just commercial success. And the award for best crossover film when Harry tries to marry. Other awards included the audience choice when Harry tries to marry. Best new talent. And the award goes to Rahul Rai. Congratulations, Rahul. Best director. Anusha Rizvi. Thank you, Lara Nation for Festival. Thank you, Bushbinder. A Lifetime Achievement Award for India Cinema's most renowned costume designer, Banu Athia, and Best Short Film. Kuldi Power. The award for the best actor female goes to Judy Chawla. Thank you so much for inviting me and then honouring me with this. My work has been appreciated. I feel so grateful. Thank you so very much. <laughs> The award for Best Actor Male goes to Ajay Naidu. I accept this award on behalf of New York City. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you. And the award for Best Film goes to I Am. Thank you, Julie, for always being there. I want to thank all those 400 people who have made this possible. Uh, thank you, London Asian Film Festival, once again, and thank you all so much. Thank you. We're so delighted. We got three awards. I am beyond a belief uh, of what happened here today. It's just nice to uh, get the appreciation and uh, quite humbled. Awesome, excited, and overwhelmed. I have won awards in other countries, but to win it in London on home turf is just really, really fantastic. I'm shocked every single time to the core 
but I'm really happy too, man. Really happy. Yeah. I was very pleased with it. I think a lot of people have come on board and supported us, and I am absolutely delighted that it went so well. And you can see the world television premiere of many of the movies shown at the London Asian Film Festival on Star Gold, starting with Ranjit Patil's Jogwa.